Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. In the last episode, we said goodbye to everyone at Away. I think we're done. It is time to head out. Time to head to that border. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think the boys are going to make it to Mexico. I think this is going to have an extremely... To be honest, I think... Oh. She's saying that to herself. And I think this is going to have a very unfair ending. I don't think After this is going to end well. You deserve a nice beach retreat. Oh. Everyone hooked us up from their own stocks. So we won't have to stop. There's our backpack. Oh, yeah, all we have to do is get into the car. We won't be leaving anything behind. This time. Okay, so that's leave. Um, yeah, can we speak to Karen? Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. Yeah, do you think it'll make it? So... Do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah, I, I think that Esteban... Esteban just wanted Sean to find something. It, it didn't necessarily have to be mechanics. He wanted him to find a trade. Didn't matter which one, just find something that you enjoy and do it. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Hmm. Yeah, did, did you guys ever go to Mexico together? Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I do, I do th he just wants some peace. The boy just wants to rest. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Let's not take this out on her. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. I... I keep saying this, but I don't think Daniel has any interest in going to Mexico. Looks like we does, got everything. Does Daniel Time even to hit the speak... highway. Okay, yeah, that's great. But does Daniel even speak Spanish? I know that Sean does. Sean is fluent in Spanish, but is Daniel? Can he even communicate with the people there? I think 
I think Daniel knows a bit of Spanish, but I don't necessarily think he's fluent because we've never heard him say like a full sentence. With Sean, we've heard him say multiple full sentences. I... God, it's... It's sad because Sean is doing this for the pair of them, but I don't think this is what Daniel wants. I think Daniel just wants stability and Sean is providing that stability. Therefore, if Sean wants to go to Mexico, then Daniel wants to go to Mexico. I... Oh, this isn't going to end well. There is no happy ending to this. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inano. Come here. Mom, I, I'm i gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Oh, no, he, she's done so much. And like I said, I do think that Sean loves her. I don't think he's ready to call on mom. As I keep saying, seven weeks do not make up for 10 years of neglect. But I do think he loves her. If he didn't love her, then he wouldn't have been in so much pain. He wouldn't have been so angry. Thanks, mom. For being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. When she said I'll be just around the corner, that made me tear up. That was beautiful. something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Daniel doesn't care. Daniel doesn't care about Puerto Lobos. He doesn't have the same connection to it that Sean does. And even Sean's connection is tenuous at best, but... How do you think we can live here? No more running, Inano. So... 
What are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. Shit. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Dude, it's just a giant fence, except it won't keep us in. Mom, why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. I hope so. I mean, you guys. But why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Here's the thing: you guys ten technically didn't do anything to that cop, but they're still saying they're gonna arrest you for his murder, Sean. I just. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey. Sean? Yeah? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Uh, gotta say, I'm glad that wasn't an option to ask me, because I don't, I don't know the answer to that either. Oh, Joanne's gift. Joanne really believes in my art, makes me want to keep on drawing. And anything... Yeah, July 3rd, 2017. Quick pause to drink and think. 
we oh, we can almost see the border wall from here next stop mexico i i just want to speak i want to speak daniel brings up so many good points you know, like, how am I going to make friends if I can't speak Spanish? Oh, I'll teach you. What are we going to do for money? I'll get a job. Like, it's clear that Sean has put some thought into this, but it's all very superficial. How are you going to get a job? You have no qualifications. How are you going to teach Daniel Spanish? Learning a second language is extremely hard if you're not brought up with it from birth. I think... I think it's very clear to me that Sean and Daniel have very different views on their heritage. And I, I don't mean that, like, Daniel isn't proud to be Mexican. I don't mean it like that at all. I just mean that, clearly, Sean was brought up speaking Spanish. Esteban put a great deal of, like, attention into, hey, I need to make sure that my son is in connection with his Spanish roots. He needs to make sure that he, he knows about his Hispanic heritage and you know, my mother tongue, this, that, and the other. But then when Daniel was born, here's the thing, by that point, Karen had gone. And as such, he's now a single dad, having to raise two boys on a single income. That's really hard. He clearly didn't have the time or energy to be teaching Daniel the things he taught Sean. And as such... I don't think that Daniel has that stronger connection to his heritage. Like I said, I don't say that to mean he isn't proud to be Mexican. He just wasn't... He, he was just raised in a very different manner to Sean because Esteban could teach Sean those things. He had Karen as backup. And then he didn't for Daniel. Or it could have been the thing of like, hey, Sean is the oldest son. The, you know, parents, they do tend to go overboard on the eldest. They hold them to a higher standard. And then when the youngest is born, it's like, ah, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Go for it, little man. Go for it. So it... Daniel doesn't have that connection. He doesn't have that connection. I'm seeing... Cans. Sorry for the cut there. The game just crashed. So uh, let's. This is the opposite see. of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Yeah. Before we go any further, I just want to see there has to be another collectible in this area. So I just. We're looking for cans. Oh, hello. Hello. All right. Aha! That water must be a hundred degrees. But it's way better than nothing. Mm. Wow. People really just leave stuff for the immigrants? I hope I can pay this forward. That's like goodbye. Oh, good luck. Uh, buena suerte. I would assume that also means good luck in Spanish. I. Here's the thing. This is. It's too easy. Pardon me. Pardon me. Let me move. Thank you. It's too easy. The cops are hours away. We have a straight line to the wall. I. It's too easy. This is much much too easy God. Look at that. shit I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here so here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it.
Take your time. Stay focused. I'm with you, Daniel. To brawl? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Not just cross. Oh man. Just cross. Oh, I cannot wait easy. to go swimming in the ocean. This is too easy. I don't like this. It was much, much that too easy. That would be cool easy. if we could just walk to the beach. I don't. Ooh, can't wait to go shopping. I don't I'm trust this. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be I so know, but yeah. oh. Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! No. No way, not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, ah! Uh, uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. Why not? <laughs> That's Show Mexico's fucking funny. Great. Bitch! Who the hell are Who you? Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. <sighs> we serve our country. By shooting people! Better them than us. Yeah. Look, you just blew up that wall, so don't start acting all friendly. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. D don't move. Uh. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Uh. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, he knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> Fuck! 
How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals. Now you can't but shoot kids. What I say? Even if they're illegals, you can't uh, shoot them. Okay. <laughs> Take a breath. You okay now? <sighs> Daniel! What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. I'm sorry, that line. They're illegals, and? Even if they were, you can't shoot illegal immigrants. Like, Arizona, 6 a.m., 4th of July. Uh, God is... God is waiting, maybe? Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, fuck you. Don't look at me. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es. Um... Es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. And I am going to bring this episode to a close right here. It was too easy. It was much too easy. I just... Fuck this lady over here. Again, it seems like this guy, he was like, oh shit, we shot a kid. Like, it's, it's a kid. And she was just like, they're illegals. Who gives a fuck? Like, I, ch I, I, I'm. Fuck the pair of them for being trigger happy. But at least he had the decency to be like, oh shit, we shot a kid. I didn't realize. Oh God, is he okay? Like, we got to deal with him. We got to stop the bleeding. Whereas she was just like, I can shoot illegals. They don't have feelings. They don't have lives that matter. Like, I, I'm so glad they're in prison. I'm so glad that whoever they're dealing with in the police force, what, oh, in Border Patrol, whatever, wasn't on duty today. And now they've been arrested for shooting a child i'm so fucking happy i'm so fucking happy about that um in the next episode i just it's gonna get even messier isn't it but until then please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe it would be very much appreciated i've been callista thanks for watching and see you in the next episode